Today's lesson is about substituting for variables. Before we begin, let's make sure we understand our vocabulary. So we've talked about a variable being a symbol or a letter usually that represents an unknown quantity. An algebraic expression contains numbers, variables, and at least one operation, but no equal sign. And to evaluate something means that we're going to calculate a numeric answer. So today's learning target is, I can accurately evaluate an expression by substituting a value for the variable. So you might see a problem that looks like this. It says evaluate for when C equals 8 and D equals 5. So what happens is you look for your variable. And it says right here that we're going to use the number 8 instead of the letter C. So we're going to put an 8 where the C is, and then we can evaluate. We can find our numeric answer. 8 minus 5 is 3. Let's try again. Same idea, C is 8 and D is 5, and we're going to evaluate a numeric answer. So I find my variable. It's a D. Right here, my directions say that D is going to be 5, so instead of a D, I'm going to think of a 5 in its place. I'm going to substitute 5 for the variable D. And then I can just add 15 plus 5 is 20. That's my answer. Go ahead and pause me and do this one by yourself. Come back when you have an answer to check. So you'll see here we have a C, which is going to be the number 8, and we have D, which is going to be the number 5. So when I substitute for my variable, this C becomes an 8, this D becomes a 5, 8 plus 5 is 13. All right, time for more math vocabulary. Now we've talked about coefficients and we've identified them, but I just want to remind you that a coefficient is the number that is multiplied by the variable. It's going to be very important that you remember that that's multiplication. So here we have 6 times y, or here we have 25 times x. All right, we're going to go ahead and evaluate now when we have coefficients. And we're going to remember that this 8 right here, that means 8 groups of w, or 8 times w. And we're going to remember that this coefficient 2 means I have 2 groups of v, or 2 times v. Now we're going to start off exactly the same way. I'm going to look for my w, which is worth 5, and I'm going to look for my v, which is worth 5. 3. A common mistake is to say that this is 85, but that's not right. It's 8 groups of 5. 8 groups of 5. A common mistake would be to say that this is 23, but that's incorrect. I have 2 groups of 3, or 2 times 3. Now, following my order of operations, 8 times 5, or 8 groups of 5, is 40. 2 groups of 3, or 2 times 3 is 6. I'm going to subtract last, and my answer is going to be 34. All right, now we have an exponent and a coefficient. Remember, this is 4 groups of v squared, or 4 times v squared. And we're going to go ahead and say that v is worth 3. A common mistake would be that this is 43 squared, but that is incorrect. I have four groups of 3 squared, or 4 times 3 squared. If I follow my order of operations, I'm going to do my exponents first. 3 times 3, or 3 squared, is 9. 4 times 9 is 36. 36 plus 2 is 38. My answer is 38. All right, I want you to try this one on your own. Go ahead and pause me, and when you're ready, come back for checking. All right, we're going to remember that we have nine groups of five, not 
95. Nine groups of five or nine times five. We're going to remember that we have three groups of three, not 33. Three groups of three or three times three. If we follow our order of operations, nine times five is 45, and three times three is nine, and 45 minus nine is 36. I hope you got that one right. Again, I want you to try this one on your own. When you're ready, come back for checking. All right, so W is going to be five, and V is going to be three. And you are not going to make the mistake and say this is 253. No. You're going to remember that it's two times five times three. If I ever don't see an operator between letters and numbers, it always means to multiply. Divided by 10. And I'm going to use my order of operations. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 3 is 30. And 30 divided by 10 is 3. All right, you have one more to try. Go ahead and try this one. It's tricky because there's an exponent involved. I want you to pause me, come back when you're ready, and check. All right, the directions say that V is 3. So you are not going to make the mistake of saying that this is 23 squared. Oh, no. You are going to say it is two groups of 3 squared or 2 times 3 squared. Following my order of operations, 3 squared or 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 plus 5 is 23. So when you substitute a value for a variable, you have to remember that sometimes you have a coefficient, and when that's the case, you have a multiplication problem. Then make sure you follow your order of operations and carefully calculate your answer.